channel. I don't know what day it is, but you know what day it is, and it is Wear Test Wednesday, where every Wednesday I test out a new product, a lot of foundations, because I like to test the wear time of them, but if you ever have a request for a different product for me to try, please leave it down in the comments and I will be sure to get to it. If you are not new here, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate your support. All right, let's just get right into it. So today I am testing out a drugstore foundation for once in my freaking life. Like I said, trying to incorporate more drugstore products into my videos because I want to be a well-rounded channel. Oh, really? Really, son? Hmm. Now the sun is causing this weird, like, square of light right here, and it's really nice. Thank you, sun. All right. Anyways, today we will be doing a wear test on the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. Please excuse the lighting. The sun is going behind clouds and then coming out and then going behind clouds again. I do have lighting in here, but the sun is still coming through the window, so whatever. I haven't even really prepped my skin yet, so let me go ahead and push my hair back and do that really quick. I will be right back. Done. Okay. This is the oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen. It says, directions apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure and reapply at least every two hours. It's just telling you to reapply it every two hours because of the sunscreen, because you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen every two hours, so if you're wanting it for the sunscreen benefit, Yes, you do need to reapply every two hours. On the e.l.f. website, this retails for $6. Our best-selling foundation, the lightweight and oil-free formula, blends in naturally for a beautiful semi-matte finish. Liquid foundation restores uneven skin textures and tones for visibly brighter skin. Cruelty-free and vegan. Using a foundation brush or a sponge, blend the formula onto the forehead, nose, cheeks, chin, jawline, and upper neck. So, everywhere? <laughs> For long-lasting performance, apply primer before application of foundation. For sheer coverage, mix our daily hydration moisturizer with the foundation. For added glow, mix our beautiful bare natural glow lotion with the foundation. Blah, 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 blah. Just giving you tips and recommendations on how to use it differently. Okay, cool. So let's apply primer to one side of our face, which I like to apply it to this side because the side is where I have more visible pores. So I'm just going to take my Cover FX Blurring Primer and just mash that into my pores. My skin is a little bit irritated today again <sighs> always got to be something with my skin I'm like oh I'm doing so good with my skincare routine burning 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 and I'm like never mind so I'm just going to pump this on to my tray here FYI I did wear this foundation already I did a video on all drugstore makeup except for my brows because I suck and forgot to get a brow product but yeah all drugstore makeup tutorial so if you want to see that it is up already and I will link it right here so you can hop on over there after you're done watching this video but that was the first time that I wore it I haven't worn it since and now I'm doing a wear test on it so I'm going to apply that with my real technique sponge what I do know about this product so far is that I could not build it up to more than a medium coverage. Like no matter how much I built it up, it was just a true medium coverage. Definitely not getting a full coverage out of this guy. It is quite a bit fragrant, which I can be a little bit sensitive to fragrance. And so I'm hoping that, and I said this in my last video, but I'm hoping that it doesn't irritate my skin wearing it, but we shall see. The only way to know is to wear it. Wow, the sun is really beaming in today. Look, bright. <laughs> and now I'm not bright anymore. Thank you, sun. I'm just going to really blend that down my neck because it is slightly too dark for me. So I do really, really like the texture of this foundation. I'll definitely say that. It has a really nice texture. It feels a little bit too, like, moisturizing. I mean, like, look at how glowy it is. To the point where I'm not sure that this would be a good foundation for oily skin, and that's how I felt about it last time wearing it as well. But we're going to see how this lasts. Maybe it mattifies. It says that it's supposed to be a semi-matte finish, so maybe it kind of all settles in and mattifies and everything. So I'm going to go apply the rest of my makeup. Let me go ahead and show you guys how everything is looking by itself so here is everything by itself and I'm gonna go apply the rest of my makeup and I will see you guys in my next check-in if I have trouble blending anything over it I'll hop back on here and let you know but other than that I'll see you in my next check-in what's up guys so um my second check-in of the day it is seven o'clock at night um, and I applied this around 
like 8 a.m. We are getting to the 12 hour mark. We're at 11 hours right now. And for 11 hours, like this still looks really, really nice for an e.l.f. foundation. Like obviously it's wearing off around here, around here on my chin. But I mean, the texture of it still looks really nice. Like on my forehead, obviously I have some natural texture there, but it hasn't like bunched up or caked up or anything like that. This is definitely not a matte foundation, even though it claims to be a semi-matte. I would not recommend this for oily skin whatsoever. Like this is a lot more shine than I typically get on my forehead. And so, um, yeah, not a matte foundation by any means. I do feel like it has made my concealer like not wear as well. Like I feel like my concealer is coming off and you're starting to see my dark circles. So I'm not a big fan of that, but hey, for $6, this foundation is not bad at all. Like set with a powder and everything that I normally do, it feels like it's lasting really, really well. So that's how I'm feeling right now. It feels like it's not a magical foundation or it's like best foundation ever for only $6. It doesn't feel like that at all, but it feels like a quality foundation for $6. And my cat is in her litter box right as I'm trying to be professional and do a check-in. Thanks. Thanks, Nutmeg. All right, but that's pretty much it for this check-in for now. I'm gonna be wearing this foundation for quite a bit longer. So I'll just see you guys in my next check-in. I'm gonna go eat. All right, guys, so I know that I'm looking a little different because I'm not wearing any lashes, which normally I do wear lashes, but whenever I do a dark vampy lip like this, I sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I do just like to have like really bare, just simple eyes and just let all the focus and the attention go on the lips. I feel like it's kind of like an editorial kind of style. Like wearing lips like this makes me feel comfortable not wearing lashes because keeping it just super like basically naked on the eyes and just keeping all the focus right here. Like I feel like it really balances the face. So I don't know. Anyways, that's just how I'm feeling. I like it without lashes. That's subjective, whatever. I also still feel kind of naked wearing without my lashes on, but I also kind of like it. So anyways, let's get to foundation. So here is how everything is looking by itself. Not really by itself, but here's a nice slow pan of my face is what I mean. Let me grab a mirror here and see where we are at. Not bad at all. So like I said, I do feel like something about my under eye area, like for some reason, everything just feels like it's come off. Like it's just, I don't know if it just didn't wear well on the foundation. It's gotten quite patchy on my chin. It's gotten a little patchy in my forehead area and it has gotten very dewy and shiny. Like I really would not suggest this foundation for oily skin whatsoever. I think it'll just become a hot mess. If you have oily skin and you like this foundation or you've tried this foundation, please leave your thoughts down below. I would love to hear how this wears on you. Let's help each other out because I only have one skin type over here. So, you know, if you do have oily skin combination or excessively dry skin, I do feel like this would work well with dry skin, actually. I really do. I think that it's not drying at all. Like, even though it says it's a semi-matte finish, I didn't find it to be drying whatsoever. So I do really, really like this. I like the way that it's worn. Like whenever it comes to a foundation, even if it doesn't wear perfectly throughout the day, like it doesn't look exactly the same as how I applied it. If it wears away nicely, like it doesn't get really patchy and like break up weird and stuff like that. I'm okay with that. Like if it just kind of slowly like withers away <laughs> and absorbs into my skin, like that's preferred for me. And this is without touching it up at all throughout the day. So no powdering, no reapplying or anything like that. This is just the foundation for 13 hours, $6, some setting powder. And this, this is how, this is where we are. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm looking at myself in the monitor. I should be looking at you, but I'm, it just kind of helps me to evaluate. So sorry, I keep looking over there. But anyways, I would say that this foundation, 
is worth the six dollars i mean as long as you're not oily depending on how oily you are you may be able to pair it with like a good mattifying primer and still be able to use it the only thing that i would be concerned about at this point is whether wearing it over time will break me out and the only way to know is by wearing it over time and if it does break me out i will try to update the description box down below and let you guys know whether it broke me out or not because i do have very sensitive skin but breakouts are very very subjective to each person what breaks one person out is not necessarily going to break another person out everybody's sensitive to different things and different things make people break out or have reactions and stuff like that so always keep that in mind i think it's well worth the six dollars it had a nice texture if you're wanting something that's full coverage it's not going to be your best friend because the most you're going to get out of this is a good medium coverage but you're not really going to get anywhere near a full coverage it's not good for that but if you're okay with a sheer to medium coverage and you're okay with a little bit of a dewy finish and everything in between i say yes go for it this is a wonderful foundation you cannot beat six dollars you cannot freaking beat six freaking dollars you get less than an ounce you get 0.68 fluid ounces but still six dollars six dollars come on try this foundation out if you are on a budget and you are not wanting to spend any money on high-end products which is totally understandable i don't even want to spend money on high-end products most of the time i do it anyways because i have a problem thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up before you leave because it really helps me out let me know what products you would like to see me put to the test next down in the comments below and i'll be sure to get to them and without without further ado is what I was about to say like I'm starting a video but thanks for watching and I will see you all in Friday's video bye I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for Friday's video coconut oh, man. here's a good screen cap for my video